after setting up your domain information and also the simulation modules you can run your your simulation so to run the simulation there is some options to do this the first one is using the run now button available in the project menu bar to do this you need to first select the simulation you want to run and this will run the selected simulation the schedule option can be used to run two or more simulations in a batch process the simulation needs to be in the same domain uh, the schedule has some additional options to add information to the log file like the CPU time and the model time step and you can run as a separate process so checking this option if you start your calculation you have this second window where you can see with details how your calculation looks like the run out option doesn't show this second window but you can see the same information clicking in the output button so in the run now you have the same calculation uh, but you don't have that uh, explicit window showing time step per time step how the calculation so clicking in the output you have the same information but it's the same information uh, until now so if you'd like uh, to refresh this button there is a button to refresh and see how your last time step were performed when the simulation is done you face this window always check the log file scroll down until the last line to see if you have all the calculation finished you can see the total elap elapsed time CPU usage so if you have any kind of issues or error messages it will appear in the last lines If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.